Oh, get right. Taking down device. Don't even need to see anything. He wants to do it again, but that's such a powerful kill. Sip gonna actually stop the bomb from going down. He doesn't really want to complete it. And now, maybe a little bit of a position here. You see Dennis Long range. The bomb not going to be going down, and NIP covering this incredibly well. Dupree, low on health. Magus is going to be the only one to do anything right now, but he's alone. One versus three, completely blocked off. He's got plenty of time, but not really the weaponry for it. Dennis will take him down. Dupree's going to rotate away. 8 HP, he's got to get around towards mid. That means Magisk so isolated, so alone. One shot, but he's not even looking towards spawn. Hard to guess where the next point of contact is going to come in, but still a chance for Dupree coming around. He's going to have to be aggressive, going to have to... Oh, he's going to go the long jump. This could be huge. Bomb is tapped. It's faked out. They have no idea where he is. They're going to look towards Connector. He's got a chance. Lecro goes down. Force holding it. And Dupree has to hit it. He's not going to be able to. Just after the round goes the way of NIP. One long range. Dupree now hiding behind the bench. Can just stand up and shoot that AK-47. Actually, Rez is going to be taking down Sip. Good shot from Dupree. Grenade lands right at his feet. Get right tries to edge him out. We'll be able to with the auto shotgun. And the smoke on top now for the defuse. Glaive not able to find the angle. Had to jump down to the low ground. One second left, and this time they get it. Somehow he's going to get away. Lecro, though, with the counterplay for Magus, and he finds it through the smoke. Zipnix is going to trade, and the B bomb site is kind of open. Oh, almost a mistake there from Sip, but he covers from it. A headshot instantly on Forrest to take him down. Grenade in front of Rez, and the follow up Molotov. Rez is going to push it instead, but Sip is ready for it. He saw that coming, and Dennis is now with a one versus three, and Sip will close the round with a quad kill what we've been used to seeing from him for a while now. Yeah, this is great. Ball top, and I don't even think he realized it was going to force this player out to the open. That's Rez. But he was definitely prepared just in case it did. It's a one on two for Glaive. Yeah, he's going to go straight for the bomb plant once to make sure that there's a bit of pressure on them on the other side. And falling back to a safer position. They really don't have a lot to work with here. But two deagles could definitely be enough once they find out where he is. Forrest edging into the bomb site. He's going to be going down. That was the big opportunity because now Lecro is on 14 health. It's still doable, and at least they know where he is. So Lecro going to have to go and find him. Just tapping the bomb a single time. Again, a shoulder peek coming out. Glaive, he is just waiting for a smart counter-strike being played here. And then Lecro hiding back here. Backup is being called for. Oh, my God. Dupree taking care of Lecro. That's a good shot there. And that's going to be a bomb plan now, a two on three. Somehow Astralis, and this is what we always talk about, even the rounds you win against them, you have to fight every step of the way. It's never easy. Forrest going to be taking down Sip, and now Dupree alone. They know where he is as well. Out on the catwalk, ready and waiting. Three men coming. It's going to be a bit of a tap there, taking the face right off of Forrest. Sees the second, takes down, get right. Oh no, Rez is on the other side, but Dupree way out of control. Just shoulder peeking it, 10 second defuse. Takes such a long time. Rez is going to get the shot and then back for the defuse. Old flashback to his face. Bullets right on his body as well. It's not, not a good time. You have to you have to admire and you have to love that kind of rotation from Astralis. They didn't slow down at all the whole way. They just booked it. They knew there was a timing they had to hit before Astral or before NIP figured out that a bomb site was not the one that was under attack. And now look at how disjointed this retake is. One by one they go, one by one they fall. Forest in a one versus five, and he doesn't have a kit, so all he needs is five instant headshots. Listen, we've seen it on Nuke before, but um, this time it's not going to be quite the same. Shut down, 10-5. Uh, looks like they're trying to boost over the smoke here. Bomb being planted. <laughs> they shooting all around him. Practically outlining him as he's putting the bomb down. That's kind of exciting. Magis could have been a big opportunity. There's the follow-up. He does get that one and sip from the other side to pick off Dennis and a full-on retake looking great here for Astralis. And this is the last thing that NIP needed. Get right, he can't even stop the defuse from happening. Even if it's 10 seconds, he just really can't make it out of this ramp. And <laughs> it's gonna be, they're just all there waiting for him. It's not looking good, especially because Astralis, I think the cool thing about this Astralis that we're seeing at the moment is they, they don't look like they're afraid to take any fights. If they had one flashbang, they might be able to blind up Magisk and get some kind of an attack going on. There's the reaction sprays down two. Device is here quick, but doesn't want to risk the M4. So that's going to go over to Forest. I guess if you're going to put it in anyone's hands, it would be his. The device gets dropped right around the edge of the smoke. That's a bit awkward. And now some pressure being put on. Rez with another kill. That's over towards jungle. That's Dupree. And Glaive is just wondering what the hell happened. Could be timed by Get Right as well. Looked like there was an opening there. Might be too deep layered in the algorithm for him even to discover it. I mean, how could you guess that oh, oh, my, oh, my lord. I hate he him. He is a robot. I, I don't hate him. This is unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody checks that ever. Rez now 
One versus two. For the spray. Gonna get the headshot. That's huge now. Blake in a little bit of trouble. And That's he has it. to run for it. There's just no time. What a play for NIP. Turning it around with pistols. Not even any armor. Chime in with Dupree's damage with the pistol, but it's just not enough. Zip mix around the corner. There's the season. He swings. Almost doubles him up. Two players here. The scout is gonna... Oh my word! Device. That's disgusting. Three quills. Three kills. And quick secession. Get right now with the bomb plant, and they are miles away. So in spite of all the theatrics over at the B-bomb side, very, very hard for Estrada to read. Instant kill on Magus, and now the bomb being defused. Two seconds left, and get right does it. Great one on two for him. Oh, oh god. They find a good spot. NFP's going right at him, though. Device is here. Yeah, he is with the AWP. He's set 75 as well. First shot means the next one has to connect. He's going to take down Dennis, and there's the follow-up from Dupree. Sip will take one as well, and one more for Device. They roll right into a huge stack, and they get immediately punished. Lecro out of bullets, and he's going to go down. Actually win the game, then that kind of round can't really be a part of it. Dennis will get one big kill. And a great follow-up. What an entry. Double taking down Device and Magus. And just like that, my god, we're talking a lot, Moses, but uh, <laughs> yeah. NIP, they're, they're doing a bit more than that. Oh, Lecro spots it, misses the shot. He's gonna see like though. He wants more of a battle. He's dinked, goes right back into the Molotov. That was the only place he could go for us. As we know, he loves to challenge at Dennis. That success was happening so much with those duels coming up A-Ramp. This time, all of Astralis is far, far away. Enjoying that. Forrest a bit careful. This can actually turn it. Forrest wins this fight. A little bit of damage on him. Again, and he's going to get edged out. Good pre-fire spray from Glaive and Rez now. A minute left. Oh, Glaive almost caught there. Rez up on the high ground. He gets back around the corner and Rez now chasing him down. He gets the one headshot. This is very interesting. Sip coming in from the other side and Rez getting caught. And he's going to get headshot. It's so 